what it is. What up? What up? What's up, my fellow owner operators? <coughs> you got Sammy here. I'm gonna make a quick video about fuel economy uh, with the uh, Cummins. And for any do-gooder out there says anything about recording, going down the road, I'm gonna add to it a little shit, even no hands. Um, been driving 15 years. I hey, my damn company I'm leased to. They've been trying to get me in their safety department uh, meetings on, on a monthly deal because in the last six months I've had three level one inspections in California. Passed every damn one of them. Uh, been driving since 2000. Clean MVR, clean CSA score. All 15 years of driving. So you know what? Kiss my ass. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, all that is true though. I'm gonna make a quick video. Turn the radio down. Uh, fuel economy. And before I kick it off, you know, I'm gonna let you know I got a uh, 2011 Kenworth uh, T660 with a uh, ISX. It's a 2250 and it's 400 ST with a 10 speed Eaton Fuller. So I don't got a lot of options of what I can do. So trust me, over the last year of having this truck, I've been I've been hitting it hard, just trying to figure out what I can do. I first got the truck. I hit some hills. I'm look, I'm getting like five, seven, five, five, eight miles a gallon. I'm like, what the hell? You know, this this truck's supposed to be efficient. So I started looking in there for like. So what I've discovered, you know, there's a lot of people out there talking about fuel economy, what to do. Uh, shit, even one guy in a Peterbilt told me. He's like, yeah, hey, hell, it's all right to go down the road to 75 mile an hour. You fuel. The fuel is just bad whenever you're uh, taking off. You got a feather taking off. And I'm here to tell you, I got a damn trip economy on my dash. If I'm running, if I reset that thing at 75 miles an hour, and within 100 miles, I'm gonna have about 4.8 miles a gallon. Trust me, I've already done it. So, yeah, old Peterbilt boy. He thought he was old school and gonna talk, teach a young guy. I mean, I look like a young guy, but been driving a long damn time. I ain't no damn idiot. But uh, I'm going to go over what I found out. What's helping me? I mean, currently, right now, I'm at 6.9. And granted, it could be a lot higher, but think about it. I came out of, uh, when I filled my tanks, I topped them back off in uh, Lake Point, right outside of, uh, Salt Lake. Topped them out, get across this damn mountain in California without spending so much money on this high-ass diesel fuel. Um, since then, 6.9. And that's coming into the body and going up all those damn hills. So, I ain't got nothing but downhill all the way down to Reno. And by the time I climb Donner and then shoot down into Sacramento, I'm probably going to be about 7'3", seven, 7'4". Seven, so, ain't too bad on 80. You know, not for a little 400 horsepower Cummins motor, come on. Uh, first things first, be easy on your throttle. You want to treat your throttle like it's broken, like there's a crack in it. If you, if you just touch it too hard, it's going to break. you got to treat your throttle like you're going to break it. Watch your RPMs. Keep your RPMs between, as best as you can between about 12 and 15, 100. Um, anything over that is just just overkill. You know, um, I do 7th, maybe 8th and ninth gear. I do get, lug mine up, or not lug it, but I, I go on up to about 16, 1700 because after that, at the end of the day, I still got a 400 ST. Uh, I can't short shift it that good on a in ninth, ninth gear, eighth gear, tenth gear, with 40,000 pounds on the hook. It just wants to dag up lug too much, and I ain't dragging the motor down like that. Uh, another ben benefit, I'm gonna go one. Look over your, uh, shit, I'm losing my damn train of thought here. Your, uh, your your fuel pedal, yeah, your pedal. Treat it like you're gonna break it. Maintain your RPMs, 12 to 1500 RPMs. Another thing is tire pressure. I'm very meticulous about my tires. You know, they're an overpriced chunk of rubber that costs more than any damn thing on the damn truck, just about, unless you wanna compare it to an end frame. But it's your second biggest expense under uh, fuel. So why neglect them? Take care of your rubber. I mean, I'll, I. I'm going down the road or I'd show you. I got 140,000 miles on mine right now, and they're still probably about 75%. Damn good looking tires. And uh, 
It's just because I, I'm meticulous, meticulous about it. Um, what you want to do, get it. Get you one of these little things right here. 30 bucks, catch them on sale for 20. Pilots, TAs, Petros, wherever. Have one. Keep up with it. That's my second one. Last one, I left it on the sidestep and uh, got on down the road and I spent another damn 30 bucks. But uh, every, every, every other day on my pre-trip, I'm going through checking my tire pressure. Hold on, it's the end of this clip. Only get, let me get to about six minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and end this clip. See you on the next one.